Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpix.com. Welcome to 5 Minutes Photoshop. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop effects and techniques in 5 minutes or less. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how the dispersion effect technique works. I have prepared here an image. This is the original and I have separated the model from the background. And now I'm going to copy the model and on the second layer I'm going to liquify the filter liquify and with a big brush I'm going to stretch out the model here where I want that the dispersion is going through looks funny but we don't see that in the in the effect the only thing we see are colors okay I think I'm done here and I click OK and now I have to hide this layer I hide this by holding the alt key and click on the layer mask tool and this gives me a complete black mask and on the top layer I'm going to add a white mask I've downloaded some smoke brushes uh, I provided the link in the description and now I'm going with a black brush I'm going to click in there with 100% opacity and I'm using different smoke brushes here to prevent patterns so that it looks random just go and use as much as you can or you need oh, this is a little bit of a unique pattern so I'm going to use another one and here Maybe I'm going to rotate this using a little bit bigger brush here and here as well. Try to, to prevent patterns and edges. In this case, edges are your enemy. You can cover them up then, but uh, try to get rid of them as much as you can. So, maybe another one, this one here, and rotate it. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're done now with this part and <coughs> I'm going to the black layer and I'm going to size up my brush here and maybe rotate it a little bit like this and I have to use a white foreground color and I'm using different brushes here as well and try to give it a direction where the smoke is going to and here it goes to the upwards and to the left maybe I should have this pa palette open here and maybe I should use this one here it's much easier <laughs> sometimes uh, you can't see the tree because of the the forest just go randomly in there and use different brushes like I'm doing here just randomly click on brushes and 
try to make make it random as so random that it's not recognizable that it is uh, that it is uh, a brush. Okay, I think we are done right now, and I think it's looking very good. Normally, I work a little bit more on this. I prevent something like that here, but in our case, this is just to showing you the technique how it works. This is the before, and this is the after. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.